Hello and welcome to another SuperNet Basics help video. Today we're going to be covering the check structure integrity option. So we go to simulate, press check structure. So this is the pop-up window you'll be greeted with. There's a yes, no and a cancel button. So obviously if you press no, that's fine. If you press yes, it'll take you into the checking facility where you can customize just the checker settings to your specific needs. And the cancel button will just make sure the checker doesn't run. As you can see in the text box on the screen right now, there's going to be three phases or stages to the checking process. So on the completion of each process, the MATLAB window should have the following text, which I'll show you in just a moment, showing checking segment spacing, checking segment junctions, and checking segments. In front of you right now, you'll see the MATLAB command window running those three checks that we just mentioned, or running the three phases of checks. Another important aspect that we need to note about the checker functionality is that it'll only be checking at the frequency we have our assembly modeled at, in this case 300 MHz. So after the, the checker has run, we will have a dialog box appear. Alright, so this dialog box will have three sections. On the left hand side, the segment errors. On the right hand side, it'll have junction errors, junction warnings and segment warnings. Now you will notice that if your structure actually has run into an error or violated a warning condition, then the buttons will actually be enabled as opposed to where the ones that you can see here that have been grayed out. And the segments on your actual assembly will be highlighted red, so your error segments will be highlighted for you. So if we just click on the near hit button, you'll see there it shows us where the actual segment error is. So now we can move on to actually working out how to rectify the error in our simulation. So in regards to this, just as the text box says, there are two ways of rectifying it. The first is to select yes on the dialog box. So then the button will still be able, but once you've selected that button, that segment will be deleted from your assembly. So after that, you obviously won't see the highlighted segment because it has been removed. So the second way of correcting the errors to your simulation is to actually just click on the highlighted segments and just press the delete button on the menu below. So there you go, you can actually see we've deleted multiple segments out of our assembly. So the last thing to note is that a brief description of the error that's occurred will actually appear here at the bottom of our dialog box. Should this be a user-defined checker limit that we set up when we pressed yes earlier with the pop-up, um, then the checker will describe those limits as well. And that's pretty much it for checking the integrity of your design. Have a great day.